Okay, in today's quick shot, we are going to quickly talk about a feature in the POS system that allows us to exit the screen after our servers do a transaction. So we're going to log in as a server, and you can see I'm a server. And we're going to go ahead and pick up a table. Enter number of guests, we'll say two. And now we're at our main order screen for our server. So we're just going to go ahead and order a soup. Some lentil soup sounds good. And then we're going to send it. Okay, now notice how as soon as we sent that order, it kicked us out of the system. Okay, now it does that for a number of reasons, the most important of which is security. It's so the server cannot leave their identity on the system and another server comes along, forgets, and then orders under somebody else's identity. It causes a lot of problems if this isn't set. It can be set, and we're going to show you how to do it so it does not kick you out. Okay, we're going to head into the configurator, and once we get there, we're going to head to Employees, and then we're going to go to Employee Classes. Now, in this example, we want the server to stay signed in. Uh, let's say you only have one server during the week or something like that, and you've decided that you want the server to be able to continuously ring on different checks, and then they are responsible to cancel out when they're done ringing. All we have to do is go to server. We're going to go to clock in, sign in. It's the very first one. And then we're going to go down to transaction sign in, and we're going to go down here, and where it says sign out after transaction, it's got a check mark next to it. We're going to uncheck it, and we're going to save it. Then we can go ahead and close the configurator. And it is that simple. We're going to give the system a moment to refresh. And when it does, we will take a look. Okay, we've given the system about, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds, a minute to refresh itself. So we're going to log back in or sign in as a server. And there's our table 406. That's what we were working on earlier. And we're going to go ahead and add another soup. Lentil soup sounds good. And then we're just going to hit send. And this time around, it should keep us in the system signed in as the server. Let's see if it works. And sure enough, it did. We're still signed in. So if somebody else came along and wanted to open up a table, they're going to be opening this up as the server that we have signed in right now, which is a training server. So that's all there is to it. In order to set that back, let's say that uh, we want the server class to sign them out automatically. Again, we head into Employee Classes, and we sign out after transaction. We highlight that, click it, save it, and we're done. Okay, that was your quick shot of the day. Uh, I'm Jason. This is POS Lifeline. If you have any questions, any concerns, any issues, anything you need help with, let us know. Have a great day.